Hey right guys, Trace Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 1, Uno, of The Vampire Diaries Season 5. I can't believe we're on Season 5 already. I don't, we've still got a while to go, especially if, well, we are including the originals as well. Uh, I think the plan at the moment is I'm going to, every week, so one Vampire Diaries, then next week will be originals, next week Vampire Diaries, next week the originals, just until I wrap up, like, at least, I've got, like, This Is Us is very close to wrapping up, and One Tree Hill is very close to wrapping up. They're both pretty much on their final season and then friends is very close as well but friends is being replaced by uh how many mother but anyway the vampire dies we will get to a point where it'll be one vamp and one originals both in the same week uh it's just not i'm not gonna be able to fit it in at the moment but um yeah that's yeah i'd let you guys decide if i was gonna do the originals and again not many people on youtube have got to that point yet but most people on patreon seem to be down to restarting the originals from episode one because it has been about Five, four or five years since I reacted to the first, I think it was like 18 episodes of the, the original. So be warned of the originals again that I will be remembering a lot of the storylines, at least in those early episodes of season one. Um, but I want to do the originals. It's, it's very short as well. I think it's like four full seasons and then one very short season after as well. So it's not like it's... I think if it was another like eight seasons, I'd probably skip out on it because i think it's just too much like in the vampire Lives universe um but because it is only four like I say four full seasons and one very short one i think it will be okay to do but anyway before we jump into the episode we're going to do a quick q and a i only put this up what how many hours ago 21 hours ago and we've got quite a few comments so thank you to everyone who, on patreon who asked a comment i've not read any of these yet i'm just scrolling them down very quickly but uh so these are going to be off the top of my head if you do want to join in on the q a's then we do them at the start of every single season of every show not every show but about 80 percent of the shows that i do uh we do a q a at the start of every season for so you only have to be a one dollar patreon if you do want to ask a question and i'll answer them all uh, like i say at the start of the seasons and then we'll jump into the tier list of course which is always fun to do see and then we'll compare it to how I felt about the characters at the end of season three as well. But for now, let's just jump into this. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name. It's A H A D O U. I'm going to try this. I would say uh, Ahadal. Ahadal? Ahadal. And then he, your second name is A L E M U. So Alamu? Alamu? Ahadal Alamu. How close am I? Let me know if I'm close. Al Ad 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 Ahadal Alamu. Like I say, probably butchering it, but I'll give it a, I give it a try. What's your favourite development to see unfold, and why is it Catherine living as a human? I mean, we haven't seen that yet. It happened, but yeah, seeing her live as a human is going to be actually quite interesting because she, her whole personality is like based on fleeing. I mean, she always runs away, but the fact that she thinks she's more immortal than she actually kind of is, like she, she knows she's kind of powerful and can take most people on in the world, so she kind of wears that on her sleeve, but take that away from her, like, she's just your average human now, and you can die at any point, like, any of that, Damon could just bash her head off if he wants to, like, so it's going to be a different change with Catherine, I, th I still want her to feel like Catherine, but, yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see, seeing her live as a human, so, but that's my favourite development for this season, um, not Stefan, not Damon, Maybe Elena. I, w I won't say she's developed as a character, but just the journey she's gone through in season four, I thought was very interesting. Like, started off like she just became a vampire, so learning that and then trying to learn Stefan's way of doing it and then Damon's way of doing it. Then she was sired to Damon, so she had to go through all of that and trying to convince him that she did actually love him and was having to do everything that he told her to do. Uh, then trying to find the cure. Then her brother died and she turned off all her emotions and just killed random people. And then she got her emotions turned back on, wanted to go on a revenge mission to kill Catherine. And then at the very end, uh, Jeremy came back to life, so she now she'd have to deal with that as well. Well, not that. Is he actually back to life? I'm not sure if we got confirmation on that. He's just kind of his ghost. But yeah, she's been through the ringer <laughs> with season four. Elena has so, but yeah. As I, I don't think she's developed much. She's just much. She's just gone through a lot with season four. Uh, and again, uh, Lena Debrev, very very good in season four. Mariah Libby asks, "What are your predictions for all of the characters in season five? We'll do the main ones. So, Elena, I think is going to struggle more. I, I don't think they're going to do like the whole she turns off her emotions again like that. That's pointless, but." I think struggling with what she did in season four, like that's going to play on her a lot. They've obviously all just graduated as well, so I assume they're going to try and live that 
uni life um, and fail at it miserably, but we'll see <laughs> how that pans out for everyone because they're not all going to be together now. Not that they really went to the school much anyway. It doesn't really matter, but it's more set outside of the school. But yeah, it'll be interesting seeing them go to uni, uh, try to plan out their futures a bit more. I'm sure we're going to have that whole conversation again as well. Uh, so that'll be like Caroline, Matt, Elena trying to deal with that, and then Stefan and Damon will probably just flop around. We've still got Silas to deal with. Uh, Stefan's obviously been buried underwater and his doppelganger showed up, so they're going to have to... You know, I'm sure he's going to play along that he's Stefan for a while and then they're going to start to figure that out, which will be fun. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, again, but oh, Bonnie's dead. This show confuses me of who's dead and who's not at this point because it's just so, like, they do whatever they want, really. <laughs> so maybe Bonnie won't be kind of doing the uni situation. But, uh, yeah, Mariah also asks, what's what your what was my favorite storyline and least favorite storyline and which villain has become your favorite so far the best villain is easily klaus um from season three season three klaus is peak villain at the moment and then my favorite storyline this season um hmm my favorite storyline i actually didn't mind the cure as much as i thought i was going to this being sired storyline was actually pretty good um, I didn't love like the whole Tyler Caroline romance. Like that could have been binned off, and I really wouldn't have cared. I like that very early on when Tyler was trying to build up his wolf army. That was pointless. Did not enjoy that. Uh, Jeremy kind of becoming the hunter was actually kind of cool. I'm glad they tried to do a bit more with Jeremy this season than they did in season three. Because season three, Jeremy was pointless. Uh, Elena switching her emotions off, I thought was actually. Again, I can see why people don't enjoy that storyline, but for me, I thought it was kind of... I don't know. It needed to happen. I think he needed to do something different with Elena. Like, you couldn't have just had her being, like, the damsel in distress or, like, the season one and two where she was just getting in the way. It's like she became a nuisance. So, at least here, like, yeah, she was kind of annoying to watch at times, but at least it was different. Uh, so I actually liked most of what they did with Elena this season. Um... Yeah, that's kind of the rundown. I don't think there was a storyline this season that was outstanding. I don't think there was, like, like compared to season three, there was not an incredible storyline, but there wasn't many that I thought were truly awful. Like I said, the Tyler stuff, didn't care for that. Um, and also the Caroline and Klaus romance. Is like I feel like they, they have chemistry, and I feel like it could work, but my mind, with all these characters, just always goes back to what Klaus has done. Like, it's not like Klaus did a little thing that like can be forgiven and it's like okay Klaus and I know they've tried to do the whole story and I'm like Klaus has changed and he's you know but it's like bro <laughs> do you know how many people this guy's killed and he's not even changed really that much so uh, yeah some little silly things they've tried to throw in there is just like okay I guess but um yeah I don't think season one's that bad uh Avalon asks I always find that people specifically reactors okay are very divided when it comes to Caroline. Mm, okay, this is news to me. People are divided, especially reactors, are very divided. Uh, I've seen some describe her as just annoying, boy crazy, dumb blonde, while others say that she's one of the most well written and developed characters on the show. What do you think so far? And then there was a reply. This is a really good point slash question. See, I didn't know all this. Um, react to drama about if caroline's uh so is she, is she either an annoying boy crazy dumb blonde or one of the most well-written and well characters on the show hmm she's okay so the annoying dumb crazy dumb blonde all that that was season one caroline we can get that out of the way she was definitely all that in season one i didn't like caroline in season one Season two and three, she was one of the most well-written and well-developed characters, for sure. Like, if you look at Caroline as she was in season one, compared to where she was in seasons two and three. Um, and even four, I'd say, it's like she has changed a lot, changed more than most in this show. However, I will say season four, Caroline, while not as bad as she was in season one, she's annoying. She's She was more annoying in season four than she was in two and three. Specifically because she just tries to play the moral high ground a lot. Like I said, with the Klaus situation, she's like trying to be like, Elena, you shouldn't be going with Damon and Stefan. But then she's trying to hook up with Klaus. That makes zero sense. So she can't, she can't do this moral high ground thing on Elena. You know, I prefer Caroline to Elena, but you can't do that when you're doing the exact same thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, and then like trying to 
dish out points and then like when she was told to just keep secrets and she just didn't even though like you're elena's oldest friend and i get when elena switched her emotions off like caroline was a victim in a lot of those situations i get it but this was before all that and then the whole side situations you're just spreading gossip around all the time it's like okay that doing things like that like i'm not going to like any character that does that where they just become a nuisance and like the gossip of the town and caroline did very much and again she did have elements like that in seasons two and three but I felt like it was kind of amped up in season four. It felt like she just hated Elena this season. And again, I get that one period where emotions were off. That makes sense. But it's just like, and she was a judgy. It's just like, so I don't think she's an annoying boy, crazy, dumb blonde. That was season one, Caroline. I think she is one of the most well-written and developed characters on the show. But I think they need to be careful and not, I don't think they should continue with the tone of Caroline like they did in season four. I think they need to, have a go back a little bit, back a few steps, and cut out Tyler, that romance. I think cut out Klaus, because honestly, like, as much as, again, they have chemistry, it just doesn't make sense her being judgy of Damon when she's doing the exact same thing. So, uh, Avalon also asks, what's a storyline or st storylines we haven't seen you're hoping for this season? Hmm. I feel like, again, I say this every season, but uh, Bonnie's dead. Bonnie's not dead. There's no way there's Bonnie dead. No way. We'll see. They'll find a cure. So Bonnie's going to come back. And then... Can we just do anything with Bonnie? Give Bonnie a good... I I try to avoid like doing like the whole... Can we have a romance? Because I feel like it's cliche. Like I feel like when I do these Q&As now, it's like... Okay, let's do this with the family. And this with the development. and all. But with Bonnie, I actually just want a good romance. Like really... I want it to be the best romance of the entire show. And Bonnie's just happy. For one season... She can do a witch stuff, that's fine, but can we just lay off Bonnie for a season? So that's that. Um, what else? Yeah, Elena needs to live, live a bit of normality for a bit. I think she's been, like I say, been through the ringer in season four. So I think just like a few episodes early on this season. Uh, also Silas, I don't know what's happening with that. So Silas needs to become like a character if they're going to continue with Silas because that was pretty bad. Silas was bad last season. I think he was bad before he was introduced into it. I mean, I think he was good before he was introduced into it. And then when Silas became an actual thing, it's like, oh God, you're kind of crap. I mean, you did kind of take down Klaus, but uh, yeah, Caroline needs to backstep a few bits, like I said. Um, I don't know what to do with Damon and Ste oh, Stefan's drowning at the moment, but he's going to get out of that. I'm sure. That'd be horrible, by the way, because he can't die as well. How, lo How long do you think he's going to have been there for? Because they're going to do a time skip, because it's usually like. So it's usually about three months later because they've tried to do like the timeline of when shows were airing, because usually it's like a week's past in the show's timeline, episode by episode. So let's say it's been at least three months. And they would have just been starting uni, usually have that three... So I'm going to say it's been three months between four and five that Stefan's going to have been drowning for, which is going to be mad. So but when he gets out, which he will, he's going to go on some rampage and try and talk to his doppelganger and make friends with him or something. <laughs> and Damon needs to go to therapy. Um, all right, if you could choose one of the main characters to be killed off this season, who would you choose? That's also Avalon asking that question. Um... Kill okay, like fully killed off. Like there's no way they can come back whatsoever. <sighs> see, I was gonna say Matt, but I feel like I'd kind of miss Matt. Like in a really like, why are you here? Situation. So maybe not Matt. <laughs> Which uh, let's kill off. You can't kill off like Liz because we need a parent in the show. Surely, I feel like she's the only one left. So we can't kill Liz off. Not killing Caroline. They would never kill Elena, Damon, or Stefan. Um, oh, that's a hard one. Jeremy's just come back, so it would make zero sense to kill him off. I feel like we are just kind of left with Matt, but he's just like such an obvious choice. Mm, maybe like Rebecca would be kind of interesting. Like, at the end of the season, they kill off, like, one of the originals, but it it's can't be... I know that that's not going to happen because they have the original show, but I'm just obviously talking, like, what if. Um, let me look at the tier list, because I have all the characters here. Cole's gone already. Uh, Catherine, no. Maybe Catherine would make sense, actually. Maybe she lives, like, a season as a human, then dies. <laughs> 
could be something. Okay, so I go with like, oh, Tyler, kill Tyler off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just looked at his face. I was like, you got to kill Tyler off. He's so utterly pointless at this point. Game gone. I, don't, I, I used to love Tyler. I think season two Tyler was really good, but he's done nothing for two seasons now. So game gone. There's my answer. Uh, Laura asks, what's your favorite friendship? Caroline and Stefan are my favorite friendship, easily. Emily asks, "How long do you think?" There you go. How long do you think Stefan will be drowning for? I, well, I've answered that. Good question. For <laughs> three months, that's my prediction. Like officially, I think it would have been three months. Um, well, actually, let me just check how how long the finale of season four was to the premiere of season five. All right, so the finale. Because this is exactly... I'm going to say this is exactly how long it's been for Stefan. And then imagine just drowning, not being able to breathe for that long. Okay, so finale was... Da, 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 May 17th, 2013. God, I would have just... A month before the finale that I would have just started this channel. I didn't start with reactions, obviously, but I would have... I, start, I think I opened the channel April 8th, 2013, so... Uh, and then the premiere was October 4th, 2013. Um, so, May, June, July, August. Okay, that's a lot longer than I thought, actually. June, July, August, September, October, so five months. I'm going to go with five months. Oh, bro. I'm at almost half a year of just flopping around in some war like a fish. All right. Good luck, Stefan. Uh, Emily asks, how do you think the Silas storyline will progress in season five and any predictions as to what will happen? They've got to make him like an actual person. They can't just have this ghoul tramp like running around. Like you got to make him an actual person and character. And he can't just be Klaus. Like he can't just be like this sarcastic overpower. Because we have that with Damon and like we have that with Klaus. So you got to change up the personality in some way. And I don't know how they're going to do that because this show really loves like their villains being sarcastic and, you know, over the top about it. So... I don't know. You gotta do. You gotta have a different personality with Silas, and we know he's actually powerful because, like I say, he did take down Klaus, so he's, he didn't really have to prove that. But yeah, they gotta make Silas more interesting this season than they did last season. He was crap. <laughs> he was crap when he's just in the shadows, like looking like Schmeagle. What are you doing, bro? Uh, Ad Edward asks, which character storyline did you enjoy the most? Uh, Elena, I think. Yeah, she she was the most interesting. Like just. The amount of beats she went through in the season, I thought, was quite a lot to cram into 22 episodes, actually, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name. We'll try, though. It's spelled S-A-S-H-W-A-T-H-I. So I'd say, like, Sashwati? Sashwati? Sash... Sash... Sashwati, I would say. And then your second name is S-R-I-G-A-N-E-S-H. -E -S Sriganesh. 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 Sashwati Sriganesh. <laughs> I, I tried. Let, let me know how close I was. Like, give it give it a rating out of 10. Was that like a... I'm going to go, that was probably a 4. Sashwati Sriganesh. <laughs> how do you feel about Delena at this point in... It's a beautiful name, by the way. But how do you feel about Delena at this point in time? No, bro. No, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I've I've thought about this in my head. I I don't care anymore. I I honestly don't care about Elena with either of them. Like I'm just I I, I don't know. I feel like with any show when you've watched like a romance go on for what hundred? How many episodes have we done of this show? I want to say like at least oh eighty nine. So eighty nine episodes of this love triangle. This just kind of gets to the point where it's like okay, like they're still cute. I think they have moments where I'm like. That was a really great scene between them, like, romantically. But come on, bro. Like, this... <laughs> I don't care. And I couldn't care less about, like, Steph and, and that romance as well. So, yeah, they're fine. Um, I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're even close to being bad. They still have chemistry. But it's not, like, the reason I watch this. I know, like, Delena and Stelena was a, a big reason why a lot of people watched this show. My mum loved this show because of Delena. Um... Like, I think she's rewatched it three times, but always stops at season four. So she watched it all the way through once, but then stops at season four the other two times because she just loved that kind of prime Delena, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm just, I, I mean, that's lucky for me, I guess. I don't care that much because <laughs> I can enjoy other things about it. Edward asks, did you think Elena turning out her emotions off lasted too long or was it a good amount of time? I think it was like the perfect amount of time. I think. 
I remember it, she turned them back on like three episodes before the finale. And I thought, I think at that point, I was like, if it went past the finale, that would have been far too long. I think the finale was kind of pushing it a little bit. So I'm actually glad they kind of did it two episodes before that. Like, how how long... Again, we're just, check, we're just checking things here at this point. But I want to say it was about eight episodes. Like, it, maybe in my head. So she switched her emotions off in episode 15 and then switched them back on, I think it was episode 21. So you six episodes, so less than I thought, actually. Yeah, I think that's, like, a perfect amount. I don't think it went on too long. Um, that's, that's, like, what, one third of the season, one quarter of the season. Uh, Mariah Libby asks, which character do you think changed the most from last season to this season? Elena. <laughs> Easily, yeah. Elena's, like, completely different. Like, again, see what she's been through this season, it's understandable, but... Uh, let's have a quick glance, though. Like, I think... Mm, Jeremy has actually changed quite a bit. Like, he's... Was he wasn't great, but he's was better than he was in season three. Um, Matt's exactly the same. I think he's had like zero development. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Elena. Elena easily. Um, are we, where are we? Kristen asks, "What friendship would you like to see happen?" All right, I'm gonna like throw. Let's just throw some random characters here. That like a pair that's never really existed. How about Elijah and? Bonnie. Again, presuming Bonnie comes back. Let's see she does. Elijah and Bonnie. Uh, they're going to be in the originals. Elijah's not going to be here. Um, Elijah and Bonnie would have been kind of cool, you know, actually. Let's go... Damon and... Jeremy. <laughs> no, I, don't, I couldn't care less about that. <laughs> like, I'd just be saying that for the sake of it. All right, let's go Catherine... And Matt. <laughs> Can you imagine Catherine and Matt becoming like best mates, like genuinely starting to care for each other? Uh, Caroline and Damon? That could be quite fun, seeing them two like jog around. Let's go Bonnie Bonnie and Damon. That could be kind of cool. Because um, we've already got Stefan and Caroline. We've already got Elena and Bonnie, Elena and Caroline, Elena with everyone, basically. But So I'm trying to think of two characters who haven't really interacted. So like Bonnie and Damon would be cool. Um, Catherine and Matt would be funny. Well, Catherine and Jeremy or something. I mean, that'd be kind of weird because she looks like his sister, but uh, we're talking friends, obviously. So, <laughs> might, imagine they did a romance with... Would it be incest? All right, we're going down this road. If Jeremy hooked up with Catherine... I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is definitely yes. But I'm just throwing it out there for fun. Tell me that's not a question that's circled around in the Vampire Diaries community. Go on, tell me it hasn't. You can't, because t people have definitely asked that question. I'll answer it for you right now. It's definitely incest. Because the type, that's where like doppelganger is like you have to, they're related as well. So it's, yeah, it would be incest. But long distance incestry. Who cares? All right. <laughs> Avalon Perry asks, what's a romantic couple you'd like to see that hasn't been canon yet? Well, funny you should ask that because I just threw out the idea of Jeremy and Catherine. No. Uh, let's go with a random... Let's go with Bonnie and Damon. I know we just said that about the friendship, but, I mean, Damon did, did kill her mom. <laughs> but this show does not care about any of that. So... Damon and Bonnie would be kind of funny. Uh, Matt and Bonnie, no. Matt is not even worthy of even, like, breathing Bonnie's air, but sure. Bonnie and Stefan, no. Bonnie and Tyler, no. Bonnie, no. Bonnie, I don't see Bonnie with anyone, which is kind of sad. So you'd either have to introduce a new, like, really good character... Or like her with her with Jeremy's okay to be fair. I don't hate that, but definitely not Matt. Definitely not Stefan. And Damon would be kind of interesting to see how that would work, to be honest. So that's the romance I'm throwing out there as like a Hail Mary. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm su actually now I think about it, I'm surprised Matt hasn't tried to hook up with Catherine. He's like, okay, I can't have Elena. I'd argue you to go for the better choice with Catherine, but it's. You know, not for Matt. Matt's, like, yeah, he's going to be in love with Elena until he dies. Avalon asks, what supernatural creature that hasn't been on the show yet would you like to see? I feel like I've 
answered this before. What did I say? Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Um, something oh, like really horrific. Like I'm talking, you know, like the hush people of Buffy. Like I don't want like the typical like oh uh, you know you have vampires levels all that like the obvious stuff. But let what about like what's like a really obscure monster that's just like spooky. Like I'm talking like the weeping angels from Doctor Who, the hush people of Buffy, like that kind of energy bought into the show. Because vampire dogs, vampires on this show aren't scary. Werewolves on this show aren't scary. None of the supernatural creatures are like actually spooky on this show. They're just kind of there. Let's go for like a really spooky one. Like I want to be like kind of quaking in my boots, but I've not really had that. So Laura asks, what's your favourite moment from season four? Favourite moment? Um, hmm, favourite moment. That's a hard one. I did like, it's not really a moment, but I did like the whole episode where they were kind of on that island trying to find the kill. That was fun. Uh, I'm just scrolling through the episodes here. Uh, oh, I like it when, when the, I forgot his name, was it Connor, was taking everyone hostage in that bar. Oh yeah, I like when Jeremy was, uh, Matt was being shot at, or when he broke his arm, that was kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I re Maybe like Elena, acting wise, I think Lena Debrev in episode 15 was really great. That was a really good moment. More so because of the acting, but even the moment of her switching her emotions, emotions off and stuff was that was really good stuff. Yeah, it's a hard. There's no moment that really stands out. It's like that was an incredible, amazing moment. You can think of so many from season th season three, but yeah, honestly, I I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys can answer that one. I'll get, I'll throw that over to you guys. What's like a moment in season four that you thought was like the peak of that season? Because I'd say acting wise, it's needed a breath in episode fifteen, sure, but. That's a moment. That's, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Hard one. Amber asks, what character that died in a previous season would you bring back permanently? Well, I'd say Bonnie, but she's just died. So let's go with... Alaric would be kind of nice to have back. Anna, I've always been biased towards having Anna back. Like People actually really got annoyed at me, <laughs> annoyed at me for that, but hey, I don't care. I, I loved Anna. Anna would have been cool. Or Alaric. But again, I, I don't typically like, you know, I don't like the idea of bringing back dead characters. Actually, I think Klaus's dad would be really... Klaus's dad is a better villain than Silas, by the way. Uh, he deserved... Michael deserved so much more screen time outside of, like, just flashbacks. He was such, like... A, again, I said I, I got it in season three when he died because he couldn't have just been around and not killed Klaus. Like, they would have had to find some mad reason as to why he wasn't going to kill Klaus, but... As I said before, they could just pull anything out their arse. They've done it a billion times, so... Ugh, yeah. I think Michael would have been really great to have in the show. But Alaric would be nice. I do miss the alaric Damon dynamic and Anna, just because I'm biased to Anna. Alright, final person has the two questions... Oh no, one question. Casey says, I'm probably too late. You're not. You only, you only did it 12 hours ago, so you are the you got there pretty much, what would that be, 11 nights, so you did well. Asks, what do you hope is, also is your profile picture the character from Portrait of a Lady on Fire? Let me check this. I've not seen that film yet, I really need to watch it, maybe I'll react to it, I heard it's really good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Portrait of a Lady on Fire. You've been a patron for 10 months. Check, can check that. Thank you. Ten months is mad. Jeez, April, May, we'd have been. I mean, you might have been. I feel like I've seen your name for. Oh no, you've been a patron for a while. Wait, let me do the maths on this. I, I don't, no, no one, no one cares about this. But uh, it says it says ten months, but I feel like I've seen your name around for like a long time. Let me, let me just quickly... Oh, yeah, you've been a patron for way longer than that. Way longer. You're... Oh, okay. So I'm assuming, like, maybe you missed a month and then came back because it says you've been a patron since October 2019. Jeez. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I've seen your name for way longer than... <laughs> Ten months, jeez. That's mad. October 2019. Maybe you're, like, the... 
Oh, we got it. Amber, September 2022. Laura joined March. We got a new patron here with Laura. Avalon, January. Kristen, May 2020. Hell yeah, Kristen. Mariah, I know you've been a while. I've seen you on it. Yeah, January 2019. Big up, Mariah. Uh, Edward, June. Sashwati. July 2020, Edward, June 2020, Emily, July 2020, your ch you guys, and then I had out, I had out, July 2022. All right, big up Casey and well, big up everyone to be honest, but Casey, you've got me on that little. Why was I was tangent about that? <laughs> All right, what did you even ask? What do you hope is different this season, and what would you have changed in season four to make it better? What would I have changed? Uh, get rid of Tyler. He's gone. We don't have any Tyler storyline. Boom. You would have shortened the episodes. It's not 22 episodes anymore. It is 16. 16 episodes in the season. Boom. It's already a better show. Uh, what else would we have changed? Uh, I think... No, I was going to say giving Rebecca the cure, but I feel like giving Catherine the cure is actually kind of genius. I actually don't hate that idea. And her being forced out the cure as well. She didn't even want it. That's kind of good, actually. So, no, I wouldn't change that. Um, we're doing the exact same thing with Elena. For sure. But we're getting rid of the side storyline. Boom. Gone. She's just in love with Damon. And he's in love with her. That's it. There's no on. There's none of this... Oh, she's side to him. Boom. That's written out. I didn't even hate that. But if we if this is how I'm doing the show, that's what we're doing. We're getting rid of that. We're having a turn off for emotion. Jeremy's going to die. And he's going to stay dead, by the way. Jeremy's going to die. His, death, his death's going to be better, though. Like, he's going to have a more dramatic death than he did. All right, still, Caroline, uh, Catherine's going to kill him. That's fine. So, okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm up. this is great. So, okay. First few apps, Elena's becoming a vampire. Boom. She's dealt with that. Then it's like her in love with Damon. They just have a romance for a bit, but then like he's he wants to find the cure for her. I know it's kind of like outside of Damon's personality, but like his selfishness is overridden by his love for her because Elena wants the cure. Boom! There we've changed that as well. She wants the cure. So Damon goes on his little hunt to find it. He fails ultimately, of course. Jeremy dies midway through the season, mid-season finale. Boom. Um, and Elena still turns off her emotions because I think that was interesting. So she turns off her emotions and she gets some ball back at the end of the season, unlike the finale. Because again, this season of mine is only 16 episodes, so none of it's dragged out. Um, and then it ends with her again making Catherine a human. And then it's like season five, she's like ready to kill Catherine for killing Jeremy. Because again, in my world, Jeremy doesn't come back. And Bonnie doesn't die. They do none of that. None of the Bonnie death stuff. That doesn't happen. Um, do I want Jeremy dead though? Like, do we do we really need Elena with more trauma? Yeah, we do. Jeremy's definitely going to die. And Tyler can be killed off this season as well. Klaus can fulfil his revenge and kill Tyler. Just get it done. I don't even care. Because again, the Caroline-Klaus romance doesn't even need to be a thing. So I don't care about Caroline's feelings to him. <laughs> so yeah, Klaus can kill Tyler. But then Klaus did just kill Tyler's mom. So maybe that's like his version of revenge anyway. Yeah, maybe I'd do the opposite. Like Klaus, it's one for one. Cole is dead and you killed his mom. It's one for one. So maybe he did. But Tyler's still got to get out of the show. I can't have him in my season. Not my season, bro. So we can just like, run off to the hills and howl at the moon for a bit or something. Uh, Rebecca and Steph uh, Stefan, they f go through with that romance. Like, that continues. I want that to continue. That was good. They cut that too short. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Anything else? Yeah, I'd, I'd keep most things the same. Like I said, I'd just shorn it down and change some things here and there. So, all right, that's the last question anyway. Um, let's jump into the tier list because I've rambled on. But thank you to everyone who asked a question. Thank you for being a Patreon. It really does mean the world. And we're we're coming up to a thousand patrons, I believe. I think we're on. Yeah, as of recording this, we're on nine hundred and forty-four. So I think we ended the last month with like nine hundred and seventy-two or something. 
and then obviously it goes back down at the start of every month. That's just kind of how Patreon works. But that's mad. We're almost at a thousand, so I appreciate you guys. All right. Anyway, all right, here we go. This is, these are the characters we have. I didn't realize that Q and A one went on for like thirty minutes. By the way, I apologize. For, well, I don't actually apologize. Really, I more content for you guys. I'm sure you can skip past if you don't care. <laughs> but we got all our characters here. Um, we've got the same image for Tyler I've used every season because <laughs> this is like the only photo of Tyler that exists. Apparently, uh, we've got Goated, Fantastic Solid, Days is Terrible. You know the process at this point. Let's turn up the brightness a bit. All right, let's start with April exists. Well, April existed. I don't think she was terrible. She she kind of like was in it quite a bit at the start of the season. I thought she was going to be more of a main character than she turned out being. Because then she just kind of flopped around, so I don't care. Connor, I thought was a pretty decent villain at the start. But then again, just died a bit too early. That'd be another thing I'd change about this season. Is maybe keep Connor around for a bit longer because I thought there was potential, but not enough potential to put him in solid. I, he existed. Um, yeah. I, again, if he was in it for like maybe half the season or something, maybe he'd got to solid. Because I like the idea of him training up Jeremy as well. I thought that was actually quite interesting. But again, as the Vampire Diaries loves to do, just cut it off a bit too early. Let's go with Shane. Attica Shane. Hmm. I like the premise and idea of Shane's character. Like, he, his wife died, he's been on this hunt for the cure, uh, and he's training up Bonnie to help him succeed in the, this the whole mission of his or whatever. But, so, like, the idea of his character I don't think was too bad. I just don't think it was, like, executed very well. He, Atticus was kind of boring most of the time, to be honest. Uh, I think they were trying to hint at a romance between him and Bonnie, which... <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, it just flopped around. I'm going to put him there. He's He existed. Again, kind of like Connor. But the problem with this guy is he, he was actually in it a lot longer than Connor. Like, he's in it a lot, and I still just never really cared at all. So, yeah, can go there. Um, Haley. Haley is pretty solid. One of the most attractive human beings in the world, if we're talking attractiveness. But we're not. We're talking as a character. And I can't be biased. So Haley can go in solid. I think I remember she goes to the originals, so she's gonna be that's why I recognised her when she popped into it, is because I recognised her from the originals. So yeah, I know she goes into that show, but it'd be nice kind of actually this is why I'm excited to do the originals again because I like I'm going into that season or that show even, caring about Klaus Rebecca Elijah and Hayley Hayley's off to a pretty good start as well. So yeah, I feel like we're going into that show with uh better mindset um so yeah Haley can go solid for now but i'm assuming we're not going to see her in season five um matt mateo mateo we'll, we'll, we'll save him let's do col colatron he's such a prick but he's meant to be it's hard like the actor does a good job like he does play cole pretty well because he is annoying <laughs> He's so annoying, bro. I don't think he's even that good of a villain. I just think he's annoying. I'll put him in solid. I hate him. Like, uh, likability-wise, here, for sure. But as a character, he's pretty good. He's pretty good as a character. I can't even deny that. He's dead now, so rip. Um, let's go with... Uh, let's do Tyler. Ah. <sighs> I want to look at the other seasons because I want to see where I put Tyler, but I'm curious how far he's dropped. You know, season three wasn't that great either, so I'm pretty sure. Let's go with there. Yeah, that's how far he is. he exists. Ty What's Tyler done this season? He tried to build up his army and then left town. Oh, okay, for the, what, the 50th time. See you later then, mate. God, don't even bother coming in season five. <laughs> it's so sad. He was so good in season two. Such a shame. And quite a bit of season three, like the whole hybrid thing, like him dealing with that. Like, it, yeah, he was really good and they just kind of dropped him. Um, Jeremy, on the other hand, definitely an improvement. Let's go with. I think above Haley. Yeah, he was actually pretty good this season. I liked his storyline, especially early on. He was dead for half the season, so, but for what he was in, I think was a good job. Like having the whole Hunter tattoo, I thought was quite a cool idea. Uh, every time he killed a vampire, he got more of the map. And, you know, it was a load of waffle, but it, it was fun to watch. Uh, my favourite scene of the season, someone asked in the Q&A, it was when 
his tattoo was coming on and he just ripped his shirt off and just, just for the sake of it, just to show the tattoo. He was like, okay. And just started screaming. That was the top five moments of the Vampire Diaries for sure. Um, all right, let's do Matt. Let's get him out of the way. He's so funny to watch because he's just such a doofus. But as a character, you'll probably like that. He did bring Elena out of the, you know, <laughs> state she was in, I guess. So he did. He was useful this season, but he does have some moments and some scenes where I, I admit it's like that was a good scene, Matt. Well done. But for the most part, he's useless. So, like, I loved early episodes of this season where Damon was just destroying him <laughs> for killing it. Well, Rebecca killed Elena, but you know what I mean. Um, who else we got? Well, we got plenty, but let's. I'm thinking of who to jump to. Let's go over Elijah just because he wasn't in the season as much as the others. Uh, still fantastic. I think he's still one of the best. Not as good as he was in season two and three, because he just because he wasn't in it as much. But the scenes he was in, he still captures the screen, and he's just like always like the pr whatever episode he's in, he's usually the best part of that episode, typically. So that's not really changed. But like I said, he just didn't have much of a storyline this season. He just kind of like had a romance with Catherine and fucked around. So Rebecca was in the season a lot more though. Uh, I'm gonna say. I actually didn't hate her romance with Stefan. I thought that could have been something, but again, just very short-lived. Her really wanting the cure, I thought was quite interesting. Like, she, I kind of feel bad for her. Like, she's always getting dunked on by everyone. I wouldn't say for no reason, because she is a knob sometimes. Like, especially to Elena early on in the episodes as well. But, I don't know, I feel like she always manages to redeem it a little bit. She tries to change. Rebecca does. I'll give her that. She does actually try so let's put her in, probably fantastic, above Elijah. Uh, Klaus, still goaded. He's just still great. He, again, not as strong as he was in season three, um, but not even close, actually. But still one of the best characters of the entire show, for sure. So Klaus, obviously, is going to be goaded. Let's go with Caroline. I'm going to put Caroline in solid, the top solid. Like I said in the q and A, I I don't... She's not fallen off a lot, not like Tyler or anything, but this season she was not as good as she was in season two and three, just because she was try. It felt like she was trying to just be annoying, like for no reason. Like there were moments where I was like, I get it, like when Elena was having, having had her emotions off and stuff. But God, I hope they don't keep going down that road with Caroline. So, and I'm assuming the romance with her and Klaus is kind of done now because he's gone off to the originals, off to another show. Kind of a shame, but. It's such a, like, split road with these two. Because, like, part of me is, like, I, they do have chemistry and they are great as a romance. But then my mind's like, uh, but she, it kind of deflates her character because she's always judging Damon and Elena and she's trying to hook up with Klaus. <laughs> so it's a, it's a hard one. But I would lean towards I'd prefer a romance with them. It's just if she's, all she would have to do is stop judging Elena and I guess that would kind of deflate all that so that'll be the thing you could have done and again she class still killed jenna so <laughs> um let's go with Catherine. still fantastic still one of the best characters of the show not in it uh, as much but i feel like with her character it works i feel like she's one of these characters that you don't want in like all the episodes i feel like it would kind of get annoying after a bit i like that she's just kind of that character that pops in every now and again and causes a bit of a ruckus and then dips out uh, I hope they keep doing that with her. I mean, she's a human now, so there's not really much much of a ruck as she can do. I mean, there's still plenty she can do if she really wants, but now it's just a situation of, do you just kill her like that if you're really f feeling up to it? Because they can do that if they want. So, we'll see. Maybe this could be Car uh, Catherine's final season, to be honest. Um, but saying that again, she... And again, I said this at the end of the season, but she could become a vampire very easily again if she wanted to. But... Would that mean she's just not as powerful because she's technically... Would she be like... Say she just becomes a vampire. Would she be a vampire that's one minute old? Or... That's what I would argue. She'd like... It resets her powers or whatever. Or would it just be she kind of goes back to how powerful she was before? Because she's been that vampire for that long. That's an interesting one. I'd say it'd make more sense if she is not as powerful anymore. Like if you get turned to a human, it's like a reset. Like you can't just... Then, like if Klaus get turn, got turned into a human... But then Kip became a vampire again, like, one day later. Would he be weak? 
that uh, that'd be so cool. I hope they actually explain that and give us an answer to that. That'd be that'd be nice. Um, Stefan, I still like Stefan. He's probably here actually. Yeah, he's not done anything this season that was mind blowing, but he's not done anything that was like bad. He's just kind of been middle of the road for me this season. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say about Stefan. He had his room. He's all jealous about Damon, but then he pretends to not be, and then he pretends he. It's just like okay, Stefan, make your mind up. It gets a bit annoying after a bit, but he's not that bad. I don't think he's that bad. All right, mm, let's do Bonnie Goated. I love Bonnie. Yeah, she just needs better storylines. That's all it is. Just give her something, please, God. It's been four seasons of like the same thing with Bonnie. It's getting annoying. She is the best character of the show. Me, maybe. But yeah, I'd say she probably is all around. And you just don't do anything with her. It's so annoying, bro. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe season five is the season. She's dead, but she's not really dead. I'm going to go prediction at ten. They bring her back. <laughs> Mid-season finale. Um, Elena... I'm going to go... Elena was really good this season, actually. Yeah, she she usually annoys me, but she was really good this season. I'll go... Like there. I, I think likability-wise, she's still not really up there for me. Like, Elena still has moments where I'm just like, you are the most annoying creature I've ever placed eyes upon. But storyline-wise, she was the most interesting this season, for sure. Like, yeah. So, Elena, this is one of her, her best seasons, to be fair. All right, Damon. I mean, we all know where Damon's going. He's probably there, actually. No, I don't know. This season's hard because it's like none of them really did anything. They're all just kind of sharing the same storyline. No one had like their own personal storylines. They did, obviously, but you know what I mean. Um, uh, I'm gonna put him second. I feel like Damon's ob always obviously like the number one. So let's just give Bonnie the number one spot. No one's terrible. I won't put any of these in terrible, to be honest. No one was like that bad where I thought they need to be terrible. Right, let's compare. Oh, these. <laughs> uh... Wow, I've been a lot more leaning on Cole. Jeez. Yeah. Maybe I didn't go in with the same logic with this tier list. Like, he's, he's technically a good character. So, De uh, Stefan's gone down. Elena's gone up. Tyler's gone down. That was the one I was curious about. He was still good last season then. But, yeah, he's gone down for sure. Klaus, Damon, and Rebecca haven't moved. Caroline's gone down. Bonnie's gone up. Um, who's this? Is that Elijah? I think. Yeah, Elijah. I think the same. Yeah, Elijah's pretty much the same. Alaric obviously wasn't in. He was in the season for a couple of episodes, but not enough to make a difference. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't change. I mean, I and maybe change Cole here just because, like, he he's meant to be a prick. It's like it's kind of. I, I don't know. But then, like, Klaus is a prick, but he's somehow just, like, a really great character, so it, maybe it's hard. It's tricky. Well, has Jeremy gone up? Yeah, Jeremy's gone up. Okay, that's good. Jeremy was good this season, so I'm happy with that. Matt's not, but he's in the same tier. He's, he's gone up the tier, but he's in the same tier. Uh, Rebecca's gone down a little bit. I mean, yeah, no, Rebecca was better in season three, definitely, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that tier list. All right. Let's jump into episode one anyway, guys. This has been 50 minutes. Wow. Okay, yeah, we need to get into the episode. Let's go. The greatest threat is still out there. Silas. Well, your Hello, character development. <laughs> Hello, my shadow is so angry. Like me. And he looks just like me. I feel like I got nothing done. <laughs> got a little soul. Yeah, all right. Nothing done. This whole college thing without you. Is that Damon? When Caroline agrees, she spent the whole summer. I don't even see who that was. I'm assuming that's Damon. Tyler's been away helping some wolf pack and test. Of course he has. That sounds like Tyler. Also known as we couldn't be asked to give him a storyline again. Matt and Rebecca have been sending postcards. <laughs> I think that they're in Amsterdam now, or was it Prague? Wait. Oh, they're actually like. I can't keep track. And honestly, Matt. Managed to bag Rebecca. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? Also, Matt, she tried to kill... You know what? I don't even care anymore, bro. I don't need to blow my nose. We live in a broken world and a broken society where people like Matt can... 
whatever, right? I'm not sure I really want to. I'm not excited. Matt's having a threesome! Is this Bro! You know, at that point, you kind of have to just applaud it. You kind of have to respect it at that point, somehow. Don't start with D. Oh, Bonnie's... It's bad enough you're dead. Now you're a control freak. I'm just saying, people don't say deer anymore. We got Ghost Bonnie. I've been emailing with Jeremy. He says it's been surreal to be alive. <laughs> hey, hey I'm sorry. Damon, I, Catherine ingesting the only cure on this earth and having to live as a human isn't justice. Who's that? I don't know what is. Oh, Catherine. No, no, no. They did just say her name. It just didn't look like Catherine at all. Was she a drug addict? P.S. Have you heard from Stefan? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've just got this weird feeling like something bad's about to happen. Oh, my God. Be a normal boyfriend and support me as I attempt to have a normal college experience. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to champagne and spend the night convincing you to stay. <laughs> Now it's weird for me because I know these two weren't together in real life at this point. Like, that's a fact now. I was debating when and when and when and when. But I hear it definitely. They definitely weren't. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Pay my bill. You have no pictures of it. No one does that, actually. That's very understandable. Oh! Alright, Vampire Diaries. Oh my god. I could not even imagine. Oh, that'd be the that'd be horrible. Like it'd be feel like you're drowning for months. I need to claustrophobic. Forget that. Okay, well at least Whitmore is only a few hours away. So if there's anything you need, dear, just call me. Hey, see you on laundry day. Who's about to go in for a kid? What the hell? How do you think this whole long distance thing is gonna work? Well, I personally plan on forgetting about you the second you walk out the door. Oh my god. Game! I'm alright, guys. I love you. I love you. Hey, this is what we needed. Off you go. I've never seen a diamond in Oh my god, this song. This You could not escape this song. Yeah, you could escape this song for about six months. In my stomach. Okay, Elena, that pit is called guilt. You feel terrible because you broke. I can't hear you. The music's so loud. We're in college. Caroline, we actually made it. You, you actually are alive. Hold on. Oh. We're all here together. That's creepy as shit, Bonnie. No offense. Oh, you can call as much as you want, you know. Mom, yes, Liz. Lizatron. This is where your dad fell in love with medicine, you know. What? As in drugs? He would be really proud to see you here. Thank you. Alright. So you're parting words on speed. Yeah, this is where your dad started to do heroin and cocaine at the same time. <laughs> so, Rumi, I think we should drink to something. Well, I couldn't agree more. Rumi. <laughs> oh. I kind of forgot they were vampires for like five minutes. Well. Hey! Hi there! I am uh, a nerd. Who are you? Well, I'm Megan. Your roommate. Cool. What about Elena? Well, I just saw enough. her at college. She seemed genuinely happy. I am not taking that away from her. Well, they're going to know at some point, though, Bonnie. I'm sorry. How many people die and still get to talk to their best friends? How many best friends can't feel each other? Well... I should get going. The freak who faked his own death can't also be late for math. Yeah. We'll ah, and I've got our first sponsor uh, of the show in. Let me see you. Wait, so then just compel her ass out the door? Damon, what's the point in going to college if we're just going to recreate what happens in Mystic Falls? True. Did Jeremy get to school okay? Yep. Showered, groomed, even cut the crusts off of his PB&J myself. PB&J. I've never actually tried that. I think it feels like it's an American thing. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, I got to uh, go. It's been a long summer, Damon. Mm. Catherine. Not looking the best. <laughs> I thought we said no strings. Who said there were strings? The strings are on Max, a bloody puppet. I don't know how, like, he's actually done this. How am I going to explain to Jeremy that she stole his Gilbert ring? Tell him you had a threesome. He'll understand. True. Yeah, yeah. Bill will probably be fine with that. 
Oh my god. Matt definitely just spuffed his pants. What's he doing? Oh my god, it's Ghost Stefan or Shadow Stefan, whatever they call him. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Oh, I'm outing myself as not Stefan. Oh, okay. Obviously. Don't be afraid. Wow, it's real. Well, they've done a little effect now for the compulsion. Are you appearing to me as Stefan? Well, yes and no. This is my true form. Stefan is my doppelganger. There's no way. So Silas is just Stefan. Confused. I know that because I can read your thoughts. <laughs> it's understandable. I mean, I've been a little cryptic lately. Vampires are nothing more than a disgusting perversion of me. I'm unkillable. I'm immortal and I'm psychic. And you look like Stefan. How convenient. <laughs> Call me a vampire. I'd say as a joke. All right, all right, vampire. Do you think that I should call him? Absolutely no not. Do you have a boyfriend, Caroline? I do. Is this the new Bonnie? We'll split up the shelves and. I feel like a recognizer. It's gonna be on my mind. I need to check now. Right here, we're more house tonight. Ah, uh, first party. Yep. Someone's definitely gonna die that boy. We'll be there. Watch it, dork. What the hell? Why? What's your problem? Nice phone. Does it ever ring? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you lot of idiots. Get bullied, bro. Well, why is everyone shocked? So two blokes come up to be pricks and they get wrecked and you're like, I'd be cheering them on. You're miserable. Please. I'm Catherine Pierce. Well, I'm a survivor. Yeah. Drink up. I'll kill you. You bite the mailman. You'll be a vampire again. Go ahead. Come on. Why I can't, not okay? Why? If I die, there's a good chance I may never wake up. Oh, that would be tragic. Right. That explained it. And deep down in that mushy, gushy... That's true, actually. Like, yeah. That doesn't want me to die. What are you doing here, Catherine? Oh, I'm glad they explained that, actually. That's, that's good. So Jeremy's been expelled. Oh, well, why? Away, and I'm slow. Do you have any idea what it's like to run in heels? <laughs> I have blisters, Damon. Oh, she has blisters, Damon. Come on. Bro. I feel like he keeps waking up and then dying and waking up and then dying. Oh. So you keep dying and coming back to life? You felt nothing but sheer agony for three months. You hallucinate conversations with me to have something to do. Wow. <laughs> oh, how long would they keep him in there? He keeps dying over and over and over again. Silas did him so dirty. I feel like in the q and I said um, Silas in natural form completely forgetting that he is technically Stefan. I mean, what if we suddenly get a craving and I want to eat her? <laughs> or our blood bags go bad because we can't store them in the mini fridge. And what the hell is protein water? Your next sponsor of the episode! Y'all, she'll want to move out. Ah, uh, no. that ain't. Yep, I knew it. What's going on? Caught already. You've been here for five seconds, bro. I'm glad you're okay. Hmm, sure. We share a bathroom with this girl. What if she's a hunter and she stakes us when we're in the shower? Or she steals our daylight rings? Or she's a vampire and is taking that as like a tolerance thing? Caroline, I'm not kidnapping our roommate. The best way to convince her that we're normal is to act normal. I'm with Elena on this. Normal human freshman -y stuff. Such as? The party. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, man. Flyer guy. Jesse, technically, but flyer guy works too. Right, I'm going to go if Jesse's dead by the end of the app then. Or the end of the first couple of apps. You can't be nice to the guy. I'm with Tyler. Are you? Still! Someone must own this play. Why are you guys just standing there? We were just. Caroline? Well, yeah, I don't really have a. Well, I'm gonna go hang. <laughs> oh, didn't even invite him. Like I said, she knows. Yeah, they're not being exactly secretive about this. You don't screw it up. Leave me alone, Damon. You're lucky to put one of those idiots in ICU. This is the guy that once killed me. <laughs> Privacy of your own home. Yeah, Away well. from prying eyes. Unlike you, one old hunter in the middle of a hallway. You got expelled, genius. <laughs> expelled after five seconds. Surely Boy, Damon, Damon would know instantly. 
Surely he knows. Thousands of freshmen. We were randomly paired with someone who knows about vampires. Maybe it wasn't random. Oh. You have to help me. What's going He's on now? Me. Megan, who's chasing you? Help me! Oh my god. We can't come in. You're being played. I don't know, but the line's too long. <laughs> if you come out. I would save you from inevitable death, but the line's too long. Sorry. Get outside and we can help you. Oh. oh my god. Is she dead? Oh, she's dead already. Well. <laughs> this was a vampire. It's going great then. <laughs> Someone's died already. 24 minutes in. Catherine's living in Chateau Salvatore. How do you know that? Because I can read your mind. Oh, is he giving it away again? Just kidding, buddy. Oh, man. Catherine called me first. Remember? Hey, Jeremy. Looking good, man. But Jeremy, no. Hey, Stephen, glad you're back. All right, I'll uh, see you at home. Great. Why would Jeremy know that? Something's wrong. When he touched me, I felt a chill where my tattoo was. Oh. What are you talking about? Right before I died, Silas grabbed me, and uh, I felt the same thing. Silas is gone. Bonnie turned him into a big piece of rock, remember? Well, maybe not. But Silas, that's impossible. I'm a hunter. Our whole Damn, just listen. is to kill him. I know what I'm feeling, Damon. That... That was silent. Jeremy's figured it out so quick. What did he want? Oh, Catherine. He's gonna kill Catherine. Oh, That's a tempting offer. Oh. He flirts. I like Elena. He's gonna drown her. Weak and vulnerable. He's gonna kill her. Are they gonna kill Catherine in that one? Mad. Time for a field trip. <laughs> or not? <laughs> this is that much for weakling. Really? <laughs> you're raped by human Catherine. Get her out of here. Don't tell me where you're going. God, you're slow. <laughs> this fam speed came with the upgrade. Get out of my way and give me Catherine. First drop the step and look. <laughs> what? Well, there's no drop in the step and look. What is happening? A roommate died. is dead. Yep. There was a vampire at the party. Yep. We don't know what she knew or who she told. Do they know what happened? We found a note. Apparently she was struggling with severe depression. Moshi, though. Your roommate took her own life. Mm, no. You think this was a suicide? <laughs> but we can't seem to find her cell phone. Have you seen it? No. It's almost like one of you two have it. If I have to hear the word doppelganger one more time, I think I'm yeah. going to actually have to learn how to spell it. <laughs> it's got to be D O double P L E R G A N G E R. <laughs> I don't know, just a guess. Here's gone. Now, what do you want with Catherine? Wouldn't it be so much more fun if it were a surprise? You're not getting her. Damon, how well do you know your brother? Do you really think he would leave town for three months without so much? Three months. I was right the first time. Oh, bollocks. I did say three months and changed it to five. I'm such a fool. Poor Stefan. He's suffering. They're not going to just give up Catherine. Are you deaf? I said, where are we going? Couldn't Bonnie do a location spell for where Stefan is? I have to tell you. You pick now no, to listen to me? That would work. Turn around. Bring her back. What? You can't take me back though, Jeremy. Damon wouldn't just hand me over. Silas clearly got in his head. Shut up, Catherine. I have a plan. You're gonna flip the car. <laughs> to be fair, why would you why do you think she'd just let you drive her there? Oh god. Is that, is that the, she was involved in the threesome? How? How, bro? No freaking way, dude! That's what he should have said. Nadia? Who? That is the woman he hooked up with, yeah. You remember me? Yeah. Yeah. I remember you. You got Rebecca and me drunk and robbed. You're about to get mugged. But it was fun until then. This wasn't mine to take. Travel 4,000 miles to give me back a ring? Hey, you don't want it. No. I want it. God, everyone's splooging over Matt this season. What's going on? Looks better on you anyway. Even though she's definitely playing him. 
Yeah. I said mugged, I mean this kind of being mugged. Cool. Hey, it happens, mate, it happens. Megan's tablet's gone, along with her so-called suicide note. Well, maybe. Whatever's going on, it's not just about her roommate. <laughs> it's about me. They just found like some mad mystery. Well, well, let's have a look. That's Megan. And? And? With my dad. Oh! <laughs> cool. She hasn't aged then. Oh, Jeremy's <sighs> flopping around already. Did Jeremy die again? I'm sure he did. For the twentieth time. Oh my god, he actually is dying already. Hey, I know you can hear me. Open your eyes, Jer. You do not get to die on me. You hear me? Oh, you're failing miserably. Care you, you little punk. <laughs> Wake up. Or I'll kill you myself. They were just dumb plan. They just put Catherine on speakerphone. It's <laughs> like so she knows what's gonna happen. Oh, Catherine. It's hot. Catherine is hot. Is that what you just said? And decided to defer school for now. This werewolf pack I'm helping. They need me. Everyone needs you, Tyler, sure. I know it's lame to do this over the phone, but I figure this way it's hard for you to tell me. <laughs> oh, I'm so, you know, I'm glad. Hopefully this is the last we see of Tyler. Well, pointless human being. <laughs> but this is important. No. Tyler's a loser. Sorry, Caroline. I'm really glad that you're here. At least they're fixing these two's friendship, it seems, in some way. I mean, Caroline and Elaine just focus on them, too. You're thinking about him? Is he going to turn off his emotions just before they find him? Flip the switch, brother. Put yourself out of this misery. Just turn it don't. off. Don't. Just don't, for once. Turn it off. Don't. We just, we just got... Oh, he's like about to. What are you doing here? I know this is torture, but stay with me. That's kind of cool. For me. <laughs> he's not struggling anymore. Just, just vibing. Based on your voicemail, it sounds like your day sucked worse than mine. You alright? Do you want to come home? I can't. How long have you been over one day? I love you, Damon. Oh, don't say it back then. Jeez. Sure. <sighs> you didn't tell her Silas was here. Nor did I tell her Stefan's missing, Catherine's in town, or you got expelled. I hope everyone enjoyed the party. Well, someone died, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, somewhere else, but it's not even related. Do you mind if I say a few words? Well, maybe when we're done here. Okay. I'll take it from here, man. Oh, get wrecked. You're probably wondering how I did that. What's he doing? It's pretty basic mind control. And until now, it's been fairly limited to one person at a time. But this what summer, you don't. I've consumed an immeasurable amount right. of Right. He can mass control people. What are the limits to my powers? How many people can I influence? I'd be running at this point if I was in this group. No one make a sound or move a muscle. Or move a muscle. Oh. <laughs> I actually didn't. Oh. Cool. More trauma for Bonnie in that one. Excellent, excellent. Let's kill her dad off. Just what's up? This is a joke. Ep one, they couldn't help themselves, could they? Yeah, we killed a mom. Let's just kill her dad as well. Why not? Right in front of her as well. You all know Elena Gilbert. Well, the girl that I'm looking for looks exactly like her. Why did he hate Catherine so- Oh, because did Catherine put him where he is? I might, I might be forgetting something why he like wants Catherine. Someone on Patreon will remind me, I'm sure, but... Uh, yeah, that was a really good episode into the season, actually. I feel like all the storylines here are kind of interesting. Like, again, I think it's very convenient that outside just looks like Stefan. Like, that is very convenient, but it's fine. This show's full of conveniences. I don't mind it too much. It's like one of the few shows where I think they can get away with, get away with something like that. Uh, yeah, having Elena and Caroline go off to college, I think is kind of cool. A bit of a different change of location. I mean, they get involved in a mystery about her dad already, so we'll see where that leads. Um, 
Catherine, like her being human, I'm glad we kind of saw how that's kind of working out for her in episode one, so straight away, and answer is not too great. <laughs> so, I mean, she's kind of ran off, so I'm assuming we're not going to see her now for a couple of episodes at least, but we'll see. Uh, Jeremy figuring out that that Silas pretty much straight away. Again, Jeremy proving that he is, or can be, actually kind of useful um, from time to time. I don't know what happened to Matt this episode. He somehow had a threesome with Rebecca and then got voodooed up at the end, so we'll see whatever that's about. But very good episode. Also, Stefan, like, drowning and suffering. Like, it's like, I couldn't even imagine. That'd be the worst. Like, drowning is bad enough, but then he's in, like, that claustrophobic kind of safe as well. Bro. Good luck. I, I reckon he'll be in there till, like, three. No, it's not going to be too long. I don't think he needs to go until, like, up ten or something. That'd be silly. So, yeah, up three, I think, is where they'll find where he is. Um, yeah, rating. I'll go a... I'm going to go an eight out of ten for this episode. I think it's a really, actually, great start into the season. And some of these storylines are actually interesting to me. I don't, again, giving Bonnie more trauma in up one is a wild choice. But are we surprised at this point? No, not really. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Like I say, next week will be the Originals Episode 1, I believe. I've got a website that kind of goes through the order of how you should watch things. So, I'm just going to follow that um, as closely as I can. And like I say, we'll get to a point eventually where we'll do one Vamp and one Originals both within the same week. It's just I don't really have the room to have both of them going on at the same time at the moment. But that will be coming, don't worry. All right. I'll see you next time for Episode 2. Until then, take care. Peace.